This video is sponsored by Sketchfab. Stick around to see how you can get high quality 3D models for free and also how you can take advantage of the brand new integration of Sketchfab into Emotion. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the brand new release of Twinmotion 2022.2. This is one of the best versions of Twinmotion and this release is game changing. Now there's a lot of things that we've talked about Twinmotion when we looked at Twinmotion 2022.2, the preview, but more than that is what we're getting right now with this new release. So with that said, we're going to dive directly into Twinmotion, take a look at some of the things that are currently available and then come back and talk about some of the brand new release notes and uh, a couple of other things that you need to see starting off you would notice that we have an amazing looking viewport so with the previous versions of twin motion we did get all of this and just in case you're wondering how you can hide them you can click on the eye icon go all the way right here and hide the navigation so once you hide the navigation every other thing that you would like to do you can the reason why you had the heads up display in the first place is so that you'd be able to get a simple walk around of how to work with the tool now, Twin Motion in itself is definitely going to take a whole lot of competition out of the market with all of these amazing things that it has to offer. If you're getting started with Twin Motion, or you know, if you download a fresh copy, we did talk about the fact that Sketchfab is now here. And this model that we're working with currently is coming from Sketchfab. And it also means that if you need more models, you have access to over 700,000 free models. So let's say we'd like to have this model in our scene. Right here, you can just click on the download button and wait for it to download. And once it downloads, you can position this wherever you want in your scene. And that is all you need to do. And positioning this is super easy. Just click, drag, you notice that it gives you some sort of icon which shows you exactly the place you need to place it. And you can click and drop and automatically this downloads the object, positions it where you want it to be. And you can tap F on the keyboard, zoom right there, position this exactly how you want it to be. And that is all about it and that way you now have it right there if you're looking for more stuff of course you can find more things so whatever thing that you're looking for on sketchfab you can find them and that is great if you guys remember when we looked at twin motion 2021 or 2022 you know the first preview we saw some things so one of the nice things that we did see was the fact that if you click on this button you have your rendering. And that was where we started noticing that Path Tracer was now available in Twin Motion and it was changing the way Twin Motion would work. Now, some of the things lots of people have had issues with is getting that realistic rendering. And regardless of the fact that we did have the Path Tracer, most people wanted to have HDRIs and other kind of environment thing going. And the folks at Twin Motion listened and they've implemented some stuff. If you look right here, you'd notice that within the library, we have the HDRI environment. So if you click on the HDRI environment, you would now notice we have some categories. So if you need to work with the sky, you can select the sky lighting. And you know, we already mentioned this one before. So you want to get some overcast, you can click on the overcast section and that loads up and you can download an overcast. So you, you know, you can download any of the ones that you want and you can go all the way back and say, for example, you want to compare this with what an outdoor HDRI like the one we have here looks like you can also jump in there, you know, go over to the outdoor section, allow that to load. And once that opens, you can search across the available ones that we have like these ones right here, and you can download them. Now, what this now means is you can switch between the lighting types that you have. So if you go down here and you go over to the settings, if you click on the environment section, you can play with the dynamic sky, which is the default sky that most of you guys don't like right now because you know, you've seen something better and you can switch from that to the skylight HDRI and the backdrop HDRI. I love the implementation of this particular UI element. And I also love the fact that we now have a couple of things to choose from. So you can choose from the dynamic sky, to the skylight. So if we click on the skylight right now, you now notice what we have. Then I can click on more, go all the way in, and we can play with the rotation if this is what we want. And this is, you know, one of the ones that you guys really, really love. So if we go all the way back and go to the sky, let's take a look at the ones we downloaded earlier. So I'm just going to go over to the overcast and we did download this overcast. So if we'd like to load this in, click drag and that loads in. And once that loads in, you can now have fun doing some very interesting stuff. Say for example, you like to change the location of the sunlight, you can. So we can do something like that. Play with intensity, this is what we want. If you like to add some smog, you want to take out the smog, you can actually do all of that. You can go back to the lighting and you can also choose from the ones that we mentioned before. We mentioned that we had the dynamic one, we have the skylight and then the backdrop. 
So with this backdrop, if you want to choose from the range of three, you can go over to the outdoor one, which you downloaded earlier, and we can select from the outdoor and replace it. So this just simply makes the idea of having variation a lot more interesting compared to other architecture and rendering tools out there. And all of these independent lighting tools, for example, the backdrop HDRI, they also have their very own parameters. Now, the reason why this weather on and weather off is really, really nice is in certain situations, you might want to play with the weather. So this is also one of the things that just simply makes sense, especially if you're trying to combine what you could get with lighting and with the weather set of tools. We like our scene to have some interesting weather. We can do that. And you'd notice that the backdrop still remains the backdrop and we have all of these nice things happening. And speaking about the weather, if we move this all the way back and we zoom right into our model. So I'm just going to go in and zoom right into the model. Right now, if you're using Twinmotion 2022.2, you would notice that gradual transition between seasons. So previously, that was sort of like a very rapid one, but at this point, there is a very tiny gradual transition. So for just transiting slowly, slowly, you can see when the snow just, you know, starts kicking in. And this is something that is interesting and I love it. Physics is now something that is currently available with Twinmotion 2022. Physics happens like this. Now, if we get models in and I simply switch over to move and with the move button, I can hold down shift and make copies. Now, these copies that we can make, we can choose to make physics apply or simply attach to them. So in this case, let's say you have a model right about a point like this and you actually want the model to be on the floor. What you can do is simple. Instead of eyeballing this and, you know, passing through, you can click on this button and then you can select the model. And once the model meets another model automatically, this actually sticks and it just makes placing things around your scene pretty handy. So we can also go ahead and turn this off, hold on shift and move this. And we can do the very same thing across different tools. Something else, which is also very cool is at this point, if we hold on shift and click, click, we can place this object wherever we want. So we just hold on shift to the object selected, click, click, and you can place this wherever you want. Now, moving over to the physics thing that we mentioned earlier, we can of course go ahead and make multiple copies. So I'm just going to hold down shift, click and drag. And at this point, I would probably make more copies. So let's just make these more copies. So you notice we have like tons of copies all the way up. So once we move this all the way up and we like to have like the barrels falling down, we can click on this gravity shift. And once we hit that button, you notice they all fall. Now, this is not doing exactly what we want because they are very, very put together. And for us to get exactly what we're going for, we may need to manually construct some movement. So I'm just going to move this right here, right there, right over a point like that, position this right here, and we can proceed to select them. So once we get all of them selected, we can now press the drop button or the gravity shift button. And you notice that they just fall all the way down. So these are the ones are actually having a hard time falling. So what we can do is we can grab the first two and I can just move this one right here. And actually we're just doing the wrong one. Okay. So we can move that there, select this position that how we want it to be. Let's actually select these other one and position these ones a little bit upwards, right about a point like so and hit the drop down and you notice that this simply drops. So with this, you can now proceed to do some very interesting things and it just works like magic. Twinmotion also offers lots of other forms of asset. So regardless of the fact that we mentioned that you can get assets from Sketchfab, you can also take a look at Quixel. Quixel Megascan ships with tons of assets that would just simply enhance and make your next rendering look better. So at this point, you can simply go over to Quixel, search for any kind of thing that you want, and you can bring them right into your scene and also use them to decorate how your scene looks. Now, this is also part of several things that you can work with right now in Twinmotion. Twinmotion also offers tons of other assets from people all the way to assets that would allow you to create fantastic looking scenes that also includes things like trees and a couple more things that would definitely make you work easier. And for now, if you're looking for more things that you can use to stylize your scene or even make that scene that you're working with 
come to life, then you might want to consider checking out Twinmotion set of assets and with a brand new set of updates and integration from the folks at Axis, Sketchfab and also Quicksell, it just simply makes your next visualization a lot more easier. Something else which is also very interesting to see is rendering. At this point you can now render up to 16K and to do this is super easy. The first thing you need to do is just capture the image that you want and then you can go over to format and within the format you can select from 2K, 4K, 8K and also 16K crazy things right here for you to work with and for the most part if you're thinking about exploring some of this you can go ahead and grab Twinmotion completely for free. There's also a couple more updates that is currently available that deals with the GLTF importing. There is also importing of lights from different data smith. There is a gizmo color which is also here. Identifying light types is also something that is pretty interesting. Handling textures from cache is also something that is very very impressive to see and tons of bugs have been fixed. So, lots of things are now available for Twinmotion 2022.2 and you might definitely want to consider checking this one out. And for those who are thinking about more stuff that they can check out, you might also want to consider checking out Sketchfab, which is an amazing place on the internet where you can download free models. The beautiful thing about Sketchfab is you can definitely preview all your models directly on the browser before hitting the download button. And right now, if you're thinking about downloading free models, you can definitely get that by going over to Explore, go over to Downloadables, and you find fresh free models every single week. And all you need to do to get these models and make them yours is to hit the download button and totally get them for yourself. So this is more like it. For those who like to take a look at Twinmotion or probably you're looking for a free model, then links to this is gonna be in the description and do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.